we'll see first swing we'll be able to tell what's going on inside his mind and body what breeze there is is from the right so that should help That one is absolutely smashed. Okay, no problem. They just come out at a different speed. <laughs> Too close, but great drive. One of the keys in match play is being able to play first. McElroy has the honor. I know it's early, but if you hit a good one, it always heightens the pressure on your opponent just that little bit. That's true. Tiger can hit a good one and turn that right back around on Rory on the second shot. That's lower flatted, but perfect. Oh. With some scoot down to the bottom of the fairway, past the tee shot of McElroy. And a couple of opening statements. Caddy. Here comes Tiger second into the opening hole. Oh. oh. He had a beautiful lie in the fairway with the ball slightly above his feet and just a little bit of a hit the down slope of the fringe and that's that's why I don't believe risking getting that close is good. We saw Lucas Beauregard landed about where Rory's ball is and eats. Would be nice to make a statement right here out of the gate. Well, it would have been nice. McElroy live here can win the hole. Slattest of windows, just a little bit of break from his rights. Ooh. Wow. That was a great roll, Smiles. <laughs> Back to the second tee. There's a pot bunker at 335, just down the right hand side. The inside of edge, that edge would be ideal, and that is right at it. Mm, and right in the middle of it. Woods has swung the club beautifully the entire week. What's been the most striking has been the transition. So smooth. Maybe not that one though, but not all bad. It'll leave an opposite area, the penalty area down the left into play more. But the big deal here, Paul, that Bermuda rough, this thing looks very jumpy. It could come out quick. If that's the right distance, it is good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wow, that was a crowd pleaser. Oh my word, that was awesome. He started it just right at the... The appropriate number would be 122, which covers that front portion of the green. But from here, anything on the green would be fine. That came out a little thick. It's going to have to scoot. Oh, boy. Down with that bunker. That's going to be... Still, this is a long haul, Paul. Yeah, there's no doubt. A lot of humps and bumps and swales to maneuver. If that spins, it's going to be super. <laughs> I'd say that was super. It was a great... Like, the greens will be just that hair slower. Yeah, and I don't see this carrying too much pace with Rory having a 10-footer for par. When you see him go down, it gives you more and more confidence. And big puck there. McElroy doesn't hit the fairway nor the green, but makes the same score as Woods. Play here with going with a three wood. It's 260 or so to cover that bunker down the left, and the fairway does widen just beyond that. That's wide right. Well, get a much pretty generous fairways out here. Woods is connected on about 55% of them here this week. And when pressure, he's gone to a low fade. Just like that. Those look to be in a very McElroy on the prowl right now. It is miles in the air, but turning left. Ooh, he was.
was posing, hoping for a little push back off the slope. He's going to get some. See, that's a great play there. Uh, not even messing with short, knowing. Felt like McElroy's ball was in the wide right rough. So a real break when he got up here and saw where the ball was. Slightly above his feet. Coming and in. this has some promise. That will slam on the brakes just outside the ball of Woods. The feature match here at the third. Rory first to go. Down grain, just a touch of break from his right. They're just not as fast as they appear, though. Stuffed irons in there close as he took Cantley down. He missed to get his nose in front here early in the match. Wow. You know, looking at the grain, how dark it is right there around the hole. I anticipated that ball coming toward us with the grain coming toward our camera. One at 189 today. And playing just a couple of yards down the hill, but that is a narrow plateau back there. It's got to travel at least 185 to stay up. It's right on line if it gets there. Seven iron was the club, and it was the right weight. Oh, it's not going to stay. Paul, that place is like <laughs> one of those compact car parking spots. You know, they're really narrow. It's so difficult to get the ball the right distance, but there is a backstop just a few paces behind you can use. But that being said, anything long is just no velocity is. So where you see McElroy is, I expect, where you'll see a lot of guys. That's drawing right at the flag. Wow. So no advantage in the match. The pace up that slope. And just not enough pace. He's got this almost a cup out to the right there, Mark. Mm, that search of would, would have been his third birdie. He mentioned just 325 front, and Rory just flew one, almost 330 back on the second. This one a bit more down the wind. High in the air towards the left side of the green. This could catch that little there. Wee. All right, just fine. That one a lot lower and fading just gently. And that is going to be in a very similar spot that we saw Molinari. Makes it hard as a fall-off area that's just out to Rory's right. But with a pitch of the green, he can circumvent that and carry him the ball in from the left-hand side. Careful, though. That is precarious in that spot. <laughs> that was really close to catching that. That is on a knife. He's going to chase something up the hill there, Mark? I would expect so. And in behind the hill on his angle, there is a little bit of a backstop. He's a wizard. Wow. Wow. Still in search of the first bird. Thirty-three. Woods has the advantage. One up. It is in the back corner. Good tee shot here is key. Looking down the left, trying to peel one in from the left-hand side. Everything, once the ball hits the ground, wants to peel to the right-hand side. Perfect. Really got to focus on your spot here, and this is right at the edge of the fence line. time on that one and ultimately finds the fairway. 
There is so much freedom in that golf swing and trust, confidence, all those good words. Well, this ought to be fun to watch. Anything coming in from the left-hand side would be ideal. That's where he started it. Well, short left there gives him a lot of green to work with. That side, do I slide one in from the left or do I try and take it on? I would advise something from the left, get this on the green somehow. Beautiful strike. It's trying to peel to the right. Didn't peel quite enough. Set up a few oohs and ahs from the gallery. Here she comes. Here she comes. Well, I'd say he has both creativity and... Yeah, that was just a tough shot there. Tried to go bump and run. It never kicked left for him. Some speed. Well, that's the second putt in a row. He just kind of flared out to the right. Short ones rattled in for birdie at five and six. And a little burst of momentum. Indeed. Great hole location here. For you, for some guy with a golf club in the hand, not so much. This one's safely out to the right, but drawing back. Go. To, to go between now the hole and Tiger's ball. Mark, it's not desperation time, but it's go time for this man. It is go time. Time for a quality strike right to the heart of the green. That is miles in the air. Drawing left of the flag is going to need to scoot. Just take the six iron tossed in there. That was, uh, that was awesome. He's, he's worked hard to get to two up. Actually, Rory's given him a couple with not getting up and down the last two holes, but don't want to make him think he can lag his putt. Always going to be a little defensive. It's time. He needs one. Yeah, he's, he's made a couple not perfect strokes the last, well, okay, he's made the last not perfect strokes the last three holes. All missed right. All missed right. So that is... I have a tie the wind in off the player's left because the elbow in the corner of the dog leg is now I don't think in range so you've got to take it down the left hand side and that's what he's done perfect reach back for a little extra on that one too seems to me that that was the first drive I've noticed that he's actually given a little extra mm -hmm. we saw the three wood play uh, no doubt a little needle in this match Right center drawing would be ideal for McElroy. And that's what he's delivered. And that is lashed. Oh, that's funny. Oof. Lacerated, as John Swantek says. So, towards it is a very narrow target. Ordinarily, that edge down the left hand side forces your eyes away there with a back right hole location you've got to be careful because there's a puck bunker down there he was aimed a mile left putting a big cut on this left. one left got to be a little careful there's that puck bunker that's standing sentinel a good few inches below his feet that almost forcing something that moves from left to right That was a beautiful pass. Trying to hold off that club a little bit. And that's... Didn't see here if the putter is the right choice. First few feet of this putt through the fairway approach is very important.
that was a great effort. I think they just spin on it. Well, too much. Mm -hmm. He missed the mark. He was standing on. That was a quick walk in the tiger here at number nine. Coming off a fantastic par putt. On the last hole, Marshall was signaling a little bit, right? But tiger can probably fly most of the problem. Sort of like that. Yes. That's awesome. That will chase all the way down there into a perfect position. And obviously, They've determined no penalty because Paul's lining up to putt, back which is in, good. Yeah, back at nine. Roy, just go with three metal. I like this. I mean, Roy's long enough to, if he smokes one and it catches the middle of the downslope, it could ricochet forward into the penalty area, and that's, that's going to keep gathering down. That's going to be perfect in that first flat. Once it touches that slope, there's no way to stop. It's too steep. Very severe. We'll have a much longer second shot. Yeah, but, but equally good at the ninth second shot. Again, only 124, not a very hard shot. Just a little right and a little long and should spin back. A gorgeous shot. It's time to make something happen, Rory. We'll need to convert. Now Tiger Woods, second shot. Flat stick living up to its name, flat. Oh. Just a little protective of short, I guess. Outside the left edge of the cup, and it's going to be brisk. Super fast greens are sometimes very difficult. And for McElroy, I mean, this stroke, this thing may just be a couple inches long. Yeah, it's stroke is just off right now. Not seeing the line. And that will be a tap in conceded par. And Tiger will have gone with an iron or hybrid. Tiger with an iron in hand here. Hmm. Holes lost this week for Tiger Woods. Not lost one in 17 holes. We did see him just turn on the Jets yesterday. It was incredible. I'll tell you, he and Cantley were just trading jabs all day. Just little light jabs back and forth, and then the punch to the gut at 13. The deuce from the fairway electrified the crowds and really got him going. Rory's got to make something happen. I think he's going to have to do it with a really good second shot into this hole or a tee shot into the next because the putter's not bailing him out. The chipper's not bailing him out. And that should be almost on top of Tiger's ball. Yeah, the thing is, he doesn't have to really change anything he's doing. He's hitting some deep. Just a few paces short of this hole location that you have to be vigilant of. Manage the spin. He likes it. Should be good. Whoopsie. Oh. What a bounce that was, rubber. I mean, they hit a yard or two too far and they actually caught. Just to the right of it, a few paces, there is a sideboard. It looked like Woods was trying to use that, but it is a very small target. Probably two, three paces wide at best. Yeah. Four yards closer for McElroy. He's going to run out of chances eventually. He needs to take advantage of one of these and still has not. It's going to be close whether it's he, him or Tiger first. If you ease one up there within tap-in range and a concession, that too will put pressure on McElroy. Oh. So maybe it uh, takes a little pressure off him, although he's two down. Could you use a win? Could be. Could be. Something's got to happen. He said, I don't think he hit it. Oh, he did hit it. Well, that was an aggressive attempt. Mm -hmm. 
it's doing with this one. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you, that's where a little gamesmanship comes into play. You know, Rory, you might have been thinking, well, what are you, why are you making me putt this? That's right. Takes your mind off it just a smidge. And uh, well, that's back at number 11. Tiger's tee shot. Well, usually you can get an idea of what happened off the gallery, but uh, the gallery screams at Tiger like that every shot. It doesn't matter where it went. That was a quick, a quick cheer. <laughs> It's a different hole today. Back into a quartering breeze from the left, 200 yards, and just a few paces in behind that back right hole location. And beyond that, you have absolutely nothing. But it's time for McElroy now down three to go ahead and try and attack. I, I think that putt on the last hole just broke McElroy. I don't know if he can summon it up against Tiger Woods, who's not going to cough up one hole. Well, had to be aggressive yeah. with the distance. And once it crests that, the ball's going to want to turn a little bit to the right-hand side. Anything within two, three feet would be beautiful. Pretty much a given that that was going to be... Yeah. Well, he punted one from off the green at nine. Similar amount of fringe to go over. Anything but short. And that'll be conceded. He'll remain three down, headed to the long downhill fun par five, mm -hmm. number 12. It's this hole, too, playing a little differently today. Back into a gentle breeze, some 354 runs through the fairway. But that is a big hit, even for Woods and McElroy. Looks like it started out to the right. Oh. The slightest window of opening now for Rory. Been presented. Well, but yeah. par five is that's his forte usually. I think the key here is not to try and hit it too hard. Put it in play. He can still get it there in two. It's a great starting line. All right, so Rory just through the fairway at 12. He sits the Stenson there. Yeah, surprising. Very surprising there, the way Stenson played yesterday. Down to 12 with Woods. 268, completely out of range. So just a layup play, and given that back hole location, where you position this is imperative, Robert. Yes, it is, that tucked hole location. Okay, here's my <laughs> retort. 242, six downhill, wind in off the left. He's got a long iron in hand. The next hole's drivable. We are not done just yet, but you've got to deliver here. Here's my retort to your retort. This ball has to be on the green. I agree. That's turning dangerously left. No, straightening now. We should be okay. Okay. Yeah. That was a beautiful... Down in the fairway feels very still, but the flags above the spectator stands moving from the left almost directly across Tiger. He loves it. Oh man. Stop. Stop. The ball, ball just rolls away. Himself a tricky putt, and he has made nothing today. What a turning point this would be! Oh, what a beautiful shot. I will just, yeah, show him that there's no way I'm letting him have it. And he loves this opportunity. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he wanted it. Tried this inclination on the next hole would still be to lay up. Rory makes him not. Okay, that was. So the first little bobble in the round for Woods, and the hole will go to McElroy without even having to attempt. It was his first bad putt, but it was also a putt of no consequence. Rory was going to make that one all day. Molinari.
get it all the way back there with three wood. This could even be his five wood, frankly. Three wood, I think, may be too much. It's very much downwind and now slightly drizzling. Need a good high strike. He didn't even hit that one hard. He likes it. And that's in a very good position, Mark. Point and counterpoint, and all of a sudden you feel a little something brewing in this match. Tiger, Tiger created some hysteria here yesterday mm -hmm. in round one. Rinsed the tee shot with an iron. Very calculated to use your term and your descriptor, Robert. Yep. Not allowing Rory to dictate what he thinks is his best opportunity to make birdie. And let's face it, now we've upped it. 18 miles an hour or so it's blowing so hard i don't think you can take this 15 feet right and spin it down the slope because it will get held up by the wind yeah it's the opposite direction he's taking a more direct line that is that a miss hit mark that thing hit so hard there was just a very difficult shot even though it was from 70 yards he's playing across determined that rory's going to play up shot made easier because it's back into the wind Played a beautiful pitch off the collar back at 12. And uh, that looks like it's maybe just a footer to win the hole. Kill some of the break. I think maybe just go split the left lip with some speed. Just like that. Oh, gorgeous. That was incredible. I didn't think <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna make it. I I hate to say that. A Kucher. And Rory's tee shot on the way here at 14. It is down Gale, almost straight downwind. This hole playing so very short. No one hit iron off the tee. It was driver and, and six iron every other day. Amazing the wins just earlier featured match of Victor over Paul Casey. Booth stays in. Takes down Mark Leishman. Mm -hmm. right. A little further right than Rory's, but in a very good position. Low the surface of the fairway 137 contact should not be an issue Real sawed off action there well, And that's what happens he had to hit down steeply on it Cut across it a little bit and it put a ton of backspin downwind that shouldn't happen though those are some ominous clouds hanging over Austin Country Club at the moment. That's going to have to hustle. That one will rip back off the front of the green as well. Little Color me surprised. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to see that. A little up. Back at 14. Here we go. This is like the Open Championship all of a sudden. Okay. It was good enough for a concession a moment ago. Now we're live here in Woods to match that shot or better it. And that shot was tremendous. Woods will do very well to get it in there tight. Awkward over the hill, but counterpoint. The wind is now uh, completely across this hole from the left-hand side. So moving in direction. Bother. Is this one up? It'll be out of the right hand side, which I feel like makes this tee shot a little bit easier. Almost Robert takes the bunker out of play. Well, the second shots that they've been having so much trouble with because it's downwind, so the second shot from the fairway will definitely be easier. That was smashed right center, turning on the wind. So okay. just to recap, Kucher was playing the 13th from the 15th, and Garcia was playing the 12th. Probably the easiest one to get to with the wind not 
hurting. I'm, excuse me, not helping. That's low and left, fast. Oh. oh. Well. Not sure what is over there. I'm not sure. You pitch it back into the wind. These sorts of conditions, as you well know, Paul, will really highlight a good ball striker. And Rory has laced one down the heart of the fairway and looking very comfortable. That is a spectacular looking shot if it gets there. Oh, it did. Wow, that was a cool look. It was a low. That's one of Tiger Woods' shot of the week. Now for McElroy, 154. Wind in, quartering from about 2 o'clock. It's standing up against the breeze in a very aggressive line. Ooh. Wow. Well, you'd love to have that. If a gust catches you and you flash that blade shot, it turns into a jet down the wind. So a very cautious, pumping the brakes kind of putt as we would expect. Back with McElroy. Time Lee. That was time. Tie the hole. Yes, sir. You know, the fact that he had where were two to play. And it is playing straight downwind, and to your point, I think we may go extra time. It has been a titanic battle so far. McElroy certainly with the momentum on his side. And you can just take it right over the top of everything downwind. Hello. That's wow. in a different area code. That bunker on the left is 315 to cover, and where he's at is the skinniest part of the fairway. I mean, it's, it's beyond 350, 360. And get one on the side slopes there because you will have a pickle. Woods to follow has to deliver well now. Ooh, that was headed for trouble. Leaking toward the penalty area. See, Tiger looked like he just kind of flatlined it. He's just wedging it out there. And as we thought, he could not get up to where McElroy is. Yards and downwind about 15 to 20 right now. Anything landing on that top tier, if it's not really high in the air, doesn't stay on the green. This is miles in the air towards the heart of the green. It's going to catch a little curl off the back edge, perhaps. Okay. May help to really pinch one out there and get extra spin. He's taking on the back right hole location. He's nestled down into the Bermuda grass and just getting this anywhere within 15 20 feet would be a pretty good effort That golf ball came up way short. I thought he was in the first the closer bunker, but Didn't even sniff the right number from the fairway Oh man Wow The bunker would have been level it's so easy to put the leading edge in the wrong place. And I, I don't think Tiger's moved from his spot behind his golf ball. He's had his hands in his pocket for the last five minutes just watching Rory. Behind him. This has to go, obviously. Lion won 173 yards from the hole. Wow. And no putts necessary for Woods, who goes two up as they move to 17. But it collects in the little collection area, so tough, tough pin today with this win. But when you're two up, you put it in the middle of the green, 
because it's almost impossible to get it there if you're McElroy. Goodness gracious, that got killed by the wind. Wow. I've turned these guys into humans. 133, this hole is playing. Best case scenario here, Mark? Three. He's Tiger Woods. Four's on the cards, though. Okay, he'll have to hold that one. Back at 16 and a chance to maybe get it right back here. For birdie two. He thought he had it. Wow. Still a chance to win the hole if Tiger can't convert. Saturday, and it went to the 17th, and that's where it ended. Tiger moves on to the Elite Eight. Two and one victory over McElroy. And breathes a monster exhale of relief. You know, he took care of business, and uh, he played a nice, patient round of golf, battled, had the lead. We thought